fascinating. Mike Lindell, my pillow man, he says he has cameras in polling places all over the United States of America. Here it is. This election, and I'm telling everyone out there, we are watching from every angle. We, there's people in every state, every county, every precinct, Brandon. Remember, you, they might think you can't look and see what's going inside that black box. But we can now in real time through something called the Edison Report, everybody. We have cyber guys watching this. We, I looked at a thing today, it was on my, my Twitter back from November of 2020. And they showed CNN, 20,000 votes dropping right off of Donald Trump's total in real time. You guys, votes don't go in reverse. These are computer manipulation algorithms. So what I'm telling you is this election, it's all eyes. We have all the camera angles. Now, why, now everyone would say, well, Mike, why are you telling the bad guys right now? Well, I'm telling them, Brandon, because the way I look at it, we're gonna, it's gonna be a win-win because the ones where we can override the algorithms are gonna be there, they're gonna win. And then also the ones they don't, all of it, you were, we got it all under camera. Well, maybe this time around the judges and the, the, left, the left media and maybe even the right media, Fox News and Newsmax will actually report if there's machines that are involved in this election to steal another election. I, I kind of have my doubts because they didn't report anything in the primaries. When the primaries, do you think Fox News reported that nice Democrat lady and her husband that got zero votes in her own precinct? Do you think they reported that, Brandon? No. Do you think Do you think Chris Ruddy and Newsmax reported the lady down in Georgia that got 4,700 votes and she wasn't even on the ballot? No. You- Mike Lindell is back on crack cocaine. I have concluded, ladies and gentlemen, I used to think it was a high probability. I no longer believe that. I think... He is back smoking crack. Now, every time I say this, and I'm submitting this for the record, I hope he gets help. I do. I used to be a drinking man myself, so I understand addictive personality. Every time I submit this, people push back and say, why would you say such a thing about Mike Lindell? But what gave you such an idea? Well, Mike Lindell did. He admitted he used to smoke crack. Here it is. Self-made success, who also used to be a crack addict. And for a while, he was both at the same time. So you started my pillow while you were still an addict. Right, people say that all the time. They say that's one of the biggest miracles ever. A made in America miracle, which landed him at the White House. You want to start, Michael? I seen my name tag and I said, who's sitting here? And they said, well, the president. Like, I'm going, whoa, really? You know? Mike Lindell was a successful crack addict, okay? Deal with it. Now, do you see how he was interviewing then? I mean, he was sensible. If you look at the full interview, he's actually charming. He's making sense. His sentences are coherent. He's able to respond in appropriate ways. He has absolute appropriateness to his tone. His phraseology is on point. But the Mike Lindell you see today, complete contrast to the Mike Lindell in that interview. All right. AB thoughts. Crack is whack. Yeah. Ain't that what ain't that what she what you Houston said? So check this out. This is America where we get free and fair elections, which means you get a private ballot box. You get to vote in private. That is the whole purpose of free and fair elections to support democracy, right? It's not the only way to have democracy, but that is how this works. Lay off the crack, bro, because what you are doing at beyond right pretending like the election was stolen and it's all these fake votes you are making a mockery of democracy yeah and he's making a mockery of himself and the people that keep putting him on these platforms and interviewing Mike Lindell listen man they're not doing it because they actually believe you they're not doing it because they support you they're doing it because they know people like me will laugh at your ass and put you or put that particular media outlet on blast for having you there, it's clicks and views for them. They're exploiting you and whatever you're going through in this moment. I do hope you realize who your friends actually are and who they are not. But this road you have gone down, completely ridiculous. All right.